the search for the next striker at Arsenal is really on and Arsenal really trying out on very many options. We've always gone ahead and retold you about the possible options that Arsenal have gone ahead to obviously try to find and one where they've gone ahead to make a bid and the bid has been rejected because the player has rejected joining Arsenal. He wants to go to the Euros and he knows this is the only way he can really make it to the Spanish Euro squad that is Morayal job right there for you welcome to this channel smash the like button comment and share <coughs> if i told you watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily as i've gone ahead to recall maquinos from nantes because of limited playing time and they want to get a better loan for the lad welcome again and let's see close to 100 likes with this video we thank god for the gift of life and we are here to bring you the latest news and information as far as Arsenal is concerned. But before we get into the stories I'm going to hate to talk about, you have to note it out that Tottenham Hotspur is going to hate to draw with Man United 2-2. That is good news to the side of Arsenal because Spurs have been one of those sides I'm going to hate to obviously try to really get into the positions of Arsenal and maybe overtake Arsenal. As it stands, Spurs is having 40 points and Arsenal is having 40 points. But remember, Spurs have gone ahead to play one more game, meaning that Arsenal, when they return to play over the weekend, hosting Crystal Palace at the Emirates, they'll be having a very good go at that side of <coughs> at that side of uh, Crystal Palace. If at all they win, they'll be at 43 points level with Aston Villa. Even Aston Villa is going to hate to draw points, meaning that Arsenal can easily get close to Aston Villa and see to it that they obviously get to where they deserve to be. Welcome again. And let's first do the needful by celebrating the birthday of Declan Rice. Happy 25th birthday to the most expensive player of Arsenal so far. In history, he's the most expensive signing of Arsenal. £105 million pounds for Declan Rice and today he has gonna hate to mark or to make 25 years of age that is Declan Rice he has gonna hate to score three goals in the Premier League for Arsenal if at all you are to really look through his season so far at Arsenal he has one assist into the Premier League 20 games played he has played every game of Arsenal three goals and one assist in the Champions League went ahead to play all the six games and he has one assist and zero goals so so far this season, he has contributed five goals on the side of Arsenal. That's why everyone is really excited to have him at the club of Arsenal where he went ahead to join in the summer. And Arsenal showed a lot of love and they won the transfer race. But by the way, before I think mid of January last year, they had told us that Arsenal's priority target is going to be Declan Rice. And right now, we don't know who the priority of Arsenal is. All we know is they're looking at Douglas Lewis you know priority midfielder and they're also looking at a striker and a right attacking midfielder so it might be Arsenal going in for three world-class players a world-class midfielder a world-class right attacking midfielder or right winger and a center forward meaning that Arsenal could cough close to 200 million pounds in the summer of this year so that is it and let's get to the story of Brian Broby. Brian Broby is really one of those strikers that Arsenal have gone ahead to resort to. He's 21 years of age. He plays for Ajax. And here he comes. Daily Mirror, Daily Mirror via ESPN. <coughs> they told us that Arsenal are looking at Ajax forward Brian Broby to bluster their attacking options. The Netherlands international lasted only one season in Germany before returning to Ajax. And he has scored 31 goals in the year and a half since he came back to his boyhood club so brian broby is a very good striker you know young first and foremost two he is a physical striker and he runs well he's clinical and he's a pressing monster you know and um i got to know him when eric ten Hag was still the manager of Ajax. He obviously came in through and obviously did the needful and led the line for the side of Ajax. 21 years of age, he is a beast to me. He is more or less an Ivan Tony, but a more talented Ivan Tony. He presses very well, he's fast, he shoots from anywhere. He can obviously play well with his back to goal. He has all qualities of any striker that you'd want. And at the age of 21, he might be the ideal deal to bring in and represent that different striker of Arsenal that they need to obviously bully 
the defenders into the Premier League. So, Ivan, sorry, Brian Broby to Arsenal is really one of those moment, those transfers that Arsenal are really looking to, and they are doing the need for to see either obviously get him at the club of Arsenal, and he's a very good striker, and you know. It's very hard to play at Ajax when you're not talented. Ajax recruits only talented players, and Brian Broby is really one of those. Then, ESPN also added and said, Arsenal, meanwhile, have also been watching Brian Broby as they look to solve their own goal-scoring problems. With main target Ivan Toney not likely to be leaving Brentford until the summer, Arsenal could make a move in the winter window if they decided they needed to act fast. So... These are other options that Arsenal have gone ahead to obviously start looking at because Ivan Tony looks like it's not going to be possible. You know, looks like they are calling in for £80 million and they are pricing him out of the move from Brentford. And I know what Brentford, why Brentford are doing this. Brentford are doing this for a reason that they don't want to see to it that they lose out on this player because they are in the last five positions of the table. And what does that mean? you are nearing relegation and they've gonna hate to miss out onto the very many goals that Ivan Tony scored for them last season because he scored 20 goals plus for Bright sorry for Brentford last season meaning that if you lose him to Arsenal right now you'll have to look in for striker who will come in through and obviously get you goals and yet he has to fast learn the league and they rather obviously get less money because the player will be left with one year on his contract in the summer and they use some good money to bring in a player that can do the job. But if at all I was, if at all I was um, uh, Brentford, I would have gone in for Girassi, who is playing in for um, VFB Street Gut. Then, because he's for £15 million, if Arsenal can get me £60 million right now, I take the money. Because no one knows how Ivan Tony is going to perform. Because if he doesn't perform very well, then his price tag is really going to go on the low. That is it. And they are trying to obviously play what we call uh, a lottery. But to play a lottery, you have to make a pledge. Now, their pledge is to keep Ivan Tony with them. And for them, they believe Ivan Tony might come in through and obviously be another Ivan Tony who is going to score very many goals in the half of the season, in the remaining half of the season. And they will be willing to obviously sell him 80 million pounds. And if at all he bangs in very many goals, if in 100 million pounds, will be worth him because teams like Tottenham Hotspur will want to put in a shift to get this player and Chelsea, you know, when you look at um, when you look at uh, Arsenal, so very many teams will come in through and obviously go in for the player. So for Brian Broby, he's really a player that Arsenal should need, but also Manchester United is keeping an eye on to Brian Broby, but Arsenal have a very good relationship with Ajax. They've just gone ahead to sign Julian Timber. So that might also help them out to obviously gate this player at the side of Arsenal. Remember, the sporting director of Ajax was once working with Arsenal, meaning that things can easily be made quickly to say to each other that this guy crosses the line and obviously becomes the player for the side of Arsenal. So that is Brian Broby for you, but it's not only Brian Broby. There is Morial, there is a striker from Italy, um, there is Santiago, you know, who plays for Feyenoord and very many others. There is Solanke. So there are very many strikers that Arsenal is eyeing and let's wait and see how Arsenal is going to really do and make a choice on who they are going to sign. Because it looks like if they are to sign a striker, it has to be a different striker from Gabriel Jesus. And it has to be a striker that really has a lot of quality. You have seen, like, you've seen Rasmus Hoyland coming in through scoring in two consecutive games in the Premier League. You know, that is really one of the moments that Arsenal will obviously want. Even if the striker is not all that old and young like Rasmus Hoyland, you know, then everything will be okay. Rasmus Hoyland is making 21 next month and Brian Broby is just 21. When you look at his season at Ajax, he has gone ahead to score nine goals in 16 games and he has four assists last season he scored 13 and three assists meaning that this season is so much on fire and he's just four goals away from really equaling his goals he scored a season so he's really doing great for ajax in the UEFA europa league eight games three goals so it shows you the quality of the guy he's almost having um 20 goal involvement
you know, for the side of Ajax and they are really cruising to the right direction. So that is Arsenal for you going in for the Dutch international brand, probably 21 years of age. And I think he'll be really a great person to get. And I think he won't exceed like 30 million pounds, you know, or 30 million euros. And they can get him at that and then try to put in some good clauses that will make this deal really profitable to both sides. And then lastly, it's official. It was by the middle of fish, I think, on Friday by the Arsenal side that Marquinhos has been recalled from his loan spell at League One side FC Nantes. The player will soon join up with the Brazil under-23 national team for their 2024 Conmebel pre-Olympic tournament held in Venezuela. So, this lad has a lot of potential in him, but I think... Edu is failing to get a best um, is failing to get a best loan option for the lad. You know, he's 20 and I think he can really do a lot. And Arsenal just need to obviously get this boy a better loan. And what loan is it gonna be? The heavens know. But I don't want him to see return at Arsenal for the remaining six months because he won't get into this into the side of Arsenal as they're only left in two tournaments. If at all Arsenal are still in four tournaments, you would have gone ahead to recommend him to return and obviously play part in those like the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, that is it. But with them only in the Champions League and the Premier League, this guy deserves a loan in a team that can obviously house him and obviously get him going. And if at all our Arsenal, I would have gone ahead to obviously think about maybe loaning him to teams like Luton Town, I know Premier League teams that are in need of his services, very many. I think if at all you tell Vincent Company that, can we get you this player? He will say yes. And, in, and for him in France, why don't they look out at a guy known as Patrick Vieira, who is a coach of Strasbourg? Because he might really want to really turn him into an Olise that he really developed well at the side of Crystal Palace. So... I really understand that he he really needs a lot of playing time and that's why Arsenal have gone ahead to obviously terminate his contract. And we've seen very many we've, we've seen very many teams by the way terminating the loans of players that they went ahead to loan. The first one was Liverpool to terminate the loan of Cavalio at RB Leipzig. He returned and they loaned him to Hull City. Um then uh, Chelsea terminated that of Santos the loan and they really decided that they are going to find a better side for him. Then the other one is Man United. They're going to hit terminate Alvaro Fernandez's um, loan. And they've going to hit loan him to Benfica. So very many teams have going to hit to do that. And Spurs also terminated the loan of Dejan Spence to Leeds. And they loaned him to Genoa where they've going to hit to sign a central defender. Now. Thank you very much for watching through Rock and David remains my name. Your thoughts on to Brian, Brian Broby to Arsenal transfer hint are welcome in the comment section below. Do you think Arsenal should go in for Brian Broby? You know, and maybe Arsenal trying to do it obviously make uh, Julian Timber feel at home. It can help Julian Timber to see to it that he obviously comes in through and make him feel at home. Then, what do you make about calling back the guy from loan Nantes? That is. Marquinos, may the living to God bless you abundantly. Rock and David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you later and good night. Those going to bed. Ghana is still 1 1 and they're still having some eight minutes to play. Egypt drew 2 2 and they had to get a late minute penalty scored by Mohamed Salah. It's really hardening up at the African Cup of Nations. No team has really gone ahead to show to it that they are really superior. I'm out.